The N-Sensor forms part of the precision farming solution developed by Yara alongside N-Plan, N-Tester and Imagit for site-specific nitrogen management. The blue-colored N-Sensor Classic and the white-colored N-Sensor ALS offer farmers a solution to real-time variable rate nitrogen applications by adjusting rates according to crop requirement whilst traveling across the field. The N-Sensor is designed to deliver precise levels of nitrogen input according to the crop's requirements, helping to reduce environmental effects whilst maximizing potential profit. With a dedicated group of scientists at Yara's research center at Hanninghof carrying out trial work annually, the N-Sensor truly is backed by science. In the UK, it has been adopted on an increasing number of arable farms covering more than 200,000 hectares. As well as developing calibrations to expand the range of crops, Yara is also working with other parties to extend its use beyond fertilizer applications, helping farmers make more efficient use of other inputs, such as herbicides and plant growth regulators, as well as better use of machinery through improved combine efficiency as a result of more even crop growth. As a result, the end sensor delivers improved gross margins and greater nitrogen efficiency. The end sensor is positioned on the cab roof to gain an oblique view of the crop on both sides of the tractor or sprayer, measuring a total area of approximately a quarter of a bout width, away from the tram lines at 24 meter tram line spacing. The crop's nitrogen demand is determined by measuring the light reflectance, either through ambient light with the end sensor classic or through the reflectance of its own inbuilt light source, in the case of the ALS, increasing its working window. The initial research work carried out during the development of the end sensor focused on measuring the correct wavelengths on the reflectance curve to accurately determine crop nitrogen. This resulted in measuring two wavelengths, one in the visible red spectra of the curve relating to plant chlorophyll content and one in the invisible near-infrared spectra relating to biomass. Although large variations in crop color can be seen by the human eye, nutrient deficiencies are often subclinical and therefore difficult to detect. The end sensor, however, is able to sense and register variations across the entire spectrum and therefore picks up differences that would otherwise be unnoticeable. The measurement being read by the end sensor is one of the most significant differences to other systems, which typically measure Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, or NDVI. The end sensor reading is a more accurate measure of crop nitrogen than NDVI, especially where the crops are thicker. The end sensor reading is then translated into an application rate with a signal sent to the sprayer or spreader rate controller to adjust the rate accordingly. The whole process, from measuring the crop through to adjusting the fertilizer, occurs within a fraction of a second, realizing the potential of real-time agronomy. Another obvious difference to satellite-based systems is the end sensor's ability to adjust to different light conditions, including complete cloud cover. As the reflectance for the end sensor classic is governed by light intensity, an additional sensor is located on top to measure this, compensating for changes during operation. New calibrations have been introduced to the system since it was commercially launched to allow more accurate nitrogen applications and improve the ease of use. N application. This calibration requires a reference scan to be conducted from an average area of the field to gain the average crop nitrogen value. Target rate. This was introduced to speed up the calibration process, allowing a rolling calibration during operation. The reference value is calculated from the moment the sensor begins taking measurements in the field. Both modes of operation allow nitrogen rates to be assigned as well as setting minimum and maximum rates to restrict the range of adjustments possible. The end sensor varies around the chosen nitrogen rate, applying more fertilizer where the crop nitrogen is lower than the average and vice versa. Absolute N. This calibration was developed and made available for end sensor users in 2010 for oilseed rape crops. Rather than calculating the amount of nitrogen to apply before getting to the field, the end sensor makes the recommendation at the point of application. The end sensor measures the nitrogen picked up by the crop and from the entered growth stage knows the amount of nitrogen that is required by the crop at that timing and therefore applies the difference. It is based on a two-split program and has, in trials carried out over three years prior to its release, been shown to improve nitrogen use efficiency compared with standard farm practice, through maintaining yield whilst decreasing the amount of nitrogen applied.
Other parameters are required during the setup to help calculate the appropriate rate of nitrogen to apply, including the proportion of dead biomass and mineralization potential. For all three modes, a biomass cutoff value is required during the setup, which will vary according to the growth stage of the crop. This instructs the end sensor to cut back to the minimum application rate when the biomass measurement falls below the entered value. This ensures nitrogen is not wasted on areas of the field which are not likely to yield, for example, due to grazing damage or waterlogging, or thin crops at later growth stages. Although the Yara end sensor operates as a standalone system so that GPS is not essential, it does enable customers to create biomass and nitrogen application maps for each field scanned. These maps can be useful as a general agronomy tool, highlighting areas of low biomass, which enables better targeting for field walking. They can also be matched up with yield maps to help identify reasons for high or low yielding areas and can also be used for traceability records for crop assurance schemes. The field information is easily transferred to a PC in the farm office, where the maps can be produced. Recent developments allow users with a Windows terminal and wireless technology to send the data back to the farm office via the internet. It also allows networking for remote data transfer. End sensor maps are produced using internet-based software called Sensor Office. This software also enables transfer of data into formats which can be used in other mapping programs. To obtain the maximum benefit from the end sensor, a high quality fertilizer must be used to ensure that the fertilizer is spread evenly and accurately across the bout width. Nitrate-based nitrogen products have been found to outperform urea over numerous trials and seasons. The single biggest benefit from using the end sensor, improved yield, is also the hardest to measure on farm. Yara have conducted close to 200 trials comparing the yields of uniform and variable applications of nitrogen in the UK and throughout Europe. The average yield increase from using the end sensor was 3.2% with some showing a yield increase of more than 12%. Fields containing higher variability due to changes in soil types, manure or slurry applications, or topography, gave the highest returns from using the end sensor. One of the more common benefits seen by customers is the reduction in lodging by reducing the area of over-application of nitrogen. This also results in more even ripening, enabling quicker harvesting and reduced drying costs and reduces the variability in grain quality over the field. Other benefits include reported savings in the overall amounts of nitrogen used, showing a cost saving from their fertilizer expenditure as the end sensor reduced applications to less responsive areas. Application of the correct amount of nitrogen to all parts of the field has a positive environmental benefit by improving nitrogen use efficiency. Over application is significantly reduced and as a result, less nitrogen is left in the soil post-harvest, which helps to minimize leaching potential. Producing high-yielding crops is about focusing on all the minor details, which when added together can have a significant impact. To get the best out of any new technology, it is important not to neglect the fundamentals. For example, some of the benefits of using technology for variably applying nitrogen may be negated through incorrect choice of nitrogen source. Trials over many years have shown a yield advantage from nitrate-based nitrogen over urea as the nitrogen source. The use of the end sensor for variable applications of nitrogen improves crop growth and reduces infield variability, leading to increased yield and protein and more efficient combined performance. The result? Increased yields, improved gross margins and greater nitrogen efficiency.